And with a whole lot of rain in the forecast, uh, there are a lot of frayed nerves over the potential for flooded basements again, especially with what happened yeah. a couple weeks ago. Rightfully so. Yeah. On the east side, there's a big focus on the pumping facilities to make sure they get up and running before it's too late. Let's get to Grant Herms. He's live tonight. And Grant, you spoke to officials with the Great Lakes Water Authority this afternoon. What they have to say. Well, they said that they're doing everything they can just as long as the power holds out. Now, those pumping stations are the Connor station here behind me. It also continues a little bit down Connor and the Frood station, which both had major failures and issues during our last rainfall. Speaking today in front of Detroit's Frood pumping station, the Great Lakes Water Authority chief operating officer explaining what's being done ahead of yet another round of torrential rain. These guys are the ones that are out here all weekend during the rain events while everybody else is sleeping. They are the ones that hire generator mechanics to be on call through Saturday along with electricians. But each pumping house will only have its standard two staff members inside ready to go as long as the power stays on. We don't anticipate any issues and we will be able to bring those pumps online. We, and similarly at Fruit, as I indicated, the power has been restored. And as far as we know, we can bring all the pumps online. Between these two facilities, there are 16 pumps that can move hundreds of millions of gallons of water at a time. GLWA says it can only run up to 12 pumps at once. But during the last major rain, only eight were running. The Water Authority COO standing by their work the last time. We have standard operating procedures that are resilient. We, we, we would do the same thing. Now, one other thing here is that because those pumps are so big, it takes about five to six minutes just to get them up and running after it's been decided that they need to turn those pumps on. That means inches of water coming into people's homes, feet of water into neighborhoods. When I asked if there was anything being done this time around to stop any delays to deciding to turn those pumps on, they said it just depends on the problems that they're facing. Back to you. So Grant, what does the Water Authority have to tell people who are worried about more flooding? Or what just what do they what do they want people to know? Well, Kimberly, they say that they are doing everything that they can this time around, but they want homeowners, renters, landlords to be vigilant ahead of this rainfall. We know that it's coming this time, they said. They also said that they're trying to get to the bottom of their issues from three weeks ago with this new committee that they put together for that internal investigation. They expect those results to be out sometime September or early October. Back to you. A lot of people on pins and needles. Okay, Grant, thank you.